Hi, I'm Saul Goodman. Did you know that you have rights? The Constitution says you do, and so do I. Conscience gets expensive, doesn't it? I, I can't do this. <laughs> God damn. For a substantial fee, and I do mean substantial, you and your loved ones can vanish. Untraceable. I want to enter money order and make it out to Ice Station Zebra Associates. That's my loan out. It's totally legit. It's just for tax purposes. After that, we can discuss Visa or MasterCard, but definitely not American Express. So don't even ask, alright? You're a high risk client. You're gonna need the deluxe service. It's gonna cost you. If you're committed enough, you can make any story work. I once told a woman I was Kevin Costner, and it worked because I believed it. I should never have let my dojo membership run out. Better safe than sorry, that's my motto. As to a dead guy, occupational hazard. Drug dealer getting shot? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say, it's been known to happen. Don't drink and drive. But if you do, call me. I have to give all a public warning. This video is a no swearing zone now. So uh, please respect the no swearing sign in the top left corner of the screen. And get me all the motherfucking seasonings you got. I need you to get the garlic salt. So recently I've involved myself in a little bit of drama with the uh, latest commentator. Now, this video isn't actually about the latest small commentator, it's about the YouTube community guidelines. To be more specific, the small fucking report button underneath videos that are so incredibly broken that it can get your entire channel taken down. Falsely. Jokes aside, this is going to be a more serious video, I apologise for that. I'm gonna get out some more entertaining commentaries in the next days, so I hope you look forward to that, but anyway, better call me. Yeah, I bought him. I buy him. Believe it or not, YouTube is shutting down my channel. They're not actually, but basically, I was in the holiday until yesterday, and during my holiday, I got the best news ever. I had gotten four privacy complaints for four videos. If you don't know how it works, you can file a community guideline strike on a YouTube channel by reporting a video using this fancy button in the bottom right corner of the video. With this, you can easily just report a video and be done with it. Now, this is fine, right? You're able to report videos that could violate community guidelines, and there's no way it could be broken in any way possible, right? Oh wait, it is broken? It is? On August 10th, I woke up in the morning, checked my analytics, and realised that one of the Max Beachy show videos I had uploaded had been struck down from a privacy violation. I was extremely scared then, because it never happened to me before, and I thought my entire channel would just disappear. That is also when I realised that I had another three privacy complaints, however none had been taken down. My first instinct was to, uh, I'm not proud of this, but it was to tweet that I had a video removed. Now you may be thinking about what content was removed, right? And it was the Max BG show was right video, and the reason for it was because I showed public images of Orgy RFC, Turkey Tom, Edwin's Generation and Tipster. I do have to specify it was public images. And what's funnier is that Grimsey used the same image for Augie, but he hasn't gotten a strike for it. Again, I have to specify, I'm not advocating for a strike on Grimsey. I'm just using it as an example and how it is well and truly public. There was also a privacy complaint on Faze Jake Paul. I don't even care to be honest. My toad video nearly got removed because I showed a thumbnail that was again public. It's honestly getting to the point where it's fucking stupidly obvious that I took these from YouTube itself. Like at the point, I'm not even joking anymore. YouTube is really trying to shut down my channel because I put public images in my videos. Like, come on. There is a way to stop this though. Either just cut out the bit of the video or blur the thing entirely. Blurring at least keeps the audio, but it feels really intrusive. But uh, you also have the option to not do anything at all. Wait for YouTube to review the complaint. And if they decide it's bad, even if the image is public, goodbye video, I guess. Then what you can do is appeal it, and on the chance that they respond to you, they'll either say yes or no. And if they give you back the, your video, in the case of my friend, Lieutenant Beast, go subscribe to him. I'll put the video back up, and then remove it again a couple hours later. Because, uh, fuck you. He works hard on that video, and it didn't infringe on any community guidelines. Kill yourself. Was that a swear or not? Uh, if you ask me, the way YouTube should fix this is by implementing a system to either prevent this and make the YouTuber give the PNG they use in the video to verify it and reverse search it, or just use the YouTube algorithm to do it themselves. And what annoys me the most 
is that for my toad video, I even included the source of the video I used the thumbnail from, meaning it just shouldn't give a privacy complaint, since it has a link which they can easily check it from. I understand that YouTube has a lot of content and a lot of privacy complaints every day, most likely, but they have a bot to claim every single video that contains even a smidge of copyrighted music. So uh, I think they are well and truly able to see images that have been uploaded onto Google servers as a whole to verify them using the same bots. Holy shit, it's Leafy! I want to dedicate this segment to talking about who I think did this to me and some other people too. I luckily didn't get a strike on my video. However, someone called Angie is here did get struck. So I do sympathize with them. I will link the channel down below. And again, I'll do the same for Lieutenant Beast. Subscribe to both of them. But my best guess is actually someone called GGG Soldier or Fari Alemno. I've only interacted with him once. I believe it was just to talk to him about the Angie's Hood drama. Uh, I would put him into perspective, but at the end of the day, I don't really need to say anything. Just imagine a Discord moderator and then widen him by times 10. Then you have GGG Soldier. I'm pretty much 90% sure that it is him. Don't send hate to his channel. Don't interact with his channel because the only reason he's doing it is probably for attention. It's not even probable, it's actually definite at this point. Honestly, at the end of the day, it's not worth to have drama with these types of people. It's just really unfun and it hurts my brain. This is the entire reason I'm trying to distance myself from the small commentary community to begin with because I'd rather not get my channel terminated or get doxxed by these people. That's just not in my best interest, to be honest. The fuck you say to me, you little shit! In conclusion, I can't be asked to stay in the commentary community. Uh, insert a Minecraft Let's Play joke here. In all seriousness, I have said before that I'm trying to distance myself quite a bit. There is a reason for that. Hopefully, you won't have to touch on this topic again because it's really boring for me personally. And I don't enjoy it as much as I would enjoy making a normal video, and it just gets in the way of normal uploads for me. Go show some love to the people that have suffered the same thing as me. Like the video, subscribe. Comment gay in the comments down below. Uh, don't, don't actually, as that will probably get the video suspended. Uh, comment better call Zenison down below and I will 100% guaranteed how you're coming and you'll probably get something in the mail, I, I don't even know. I have some bigger projects in the works at the moment, so do stay tuned for that. I also have some more skits planned for videos and face cam segments. Uh, again, I mentioned this on my Twitter for some reason because I am literally, I'm addicted to Twitter. But other than that, as a great man once said, please have yourselves a damn good one.